to what you're offering. There's no point to advertise on Google if you have very unique product and nobody is actually looking for it. So make sure that people are literally Googling your service <coughs> or your um, product in order to gain traffic from Google. Uh, the second thing that I would recommend to every business owner is to remember to keep your website alive. That means that um, your website is not a business card like it used to. It is these days extension of your business and it's your storefront. So like, in a, like on the display, you would change your display um, seasonally. You would make it fresh and relevant for people passing by. Do the same with your website. Keep it relevant, keep it fresh, keep on blogging, keep on updating pages, um, mention interesting um, projects that you got involved in and basically keep it alive to get people interested in your products and making sure that you are alive as a business and you're growing and you're being busy. And the third thing is to consider multiple channels. Do not focus on top 10 organic rankings. Um, there are many Google products that you can point your business, uh, that you can put your business on. Um, if you are in a local um, business that requires to see your clients face to face, make sure that you're on Google Maps. If you're helping people with someone, you can do a YouTube video, which is also a Google product. YouTube belongs to Google. Um, and it's quite easy to get audience for answering questions that people have. Uh, also invest into AdWords, but the easiest and quickest way to get to top of Google, just basically pay Google for it. And also um, use multiple channels to get people to your website. It's not just um, Google organic rankings and it's not, it's not one, one size fits all. You know, it all depends what type of business are you in. But from what you're saying, I gather you don't need to do everything, but you need to know which ones would be most effective for your business. Like in any business, you need to know your audience and see what they're doing, where they are, what they're looking for, and then you can answer their queries. And one last question. How do you use YouTube? How do you use YouTube? To help your rankings on Google. Um, answer the query that people might have. So let's say you are in a business uh, that helps people with computer issues. Um, give them answers ready on a plate um, from the most common questions. So if 20 times a month you pick up a phone and the person has exactly the same query and almost with your eyes closed you can direct them through the steps on the computer, just make a little YouTube video. Yes, you're going to lose a bit of business on it, but you're going to gain uh, more authority on the, on the website and then get more traffic. And if someone gets into bigger trouble, they're obviously going to give you a call because they know what you're doing. I remember you. Yeah. Thank you very, very much. It was a very good talk. Thank you. Thank you.